Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well this week. I disappeared last week because I needed a week off. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous uh, because YouTube is kind of a chill thing for me, but I just, you know when you have to do laundry and you're looking at the hamper and you're just like, but then I have to dry it and fold it and hang it and put it all away. That's how I felt about YouTube last week, so I took a break <laughs> and I feel much better for it. It also gave me time to test out the light pad thing that I was going to talk to you about this week, so it worked out in our favour, I feel. I recently ordered an A4 LED light pad. It is intended for diamond painting, which I had never heard of um, until <laughs> I started reading reviews about this product. But the reason I bought it is because up until now, I have been very, very privileged uh, in that I've always had an accessible window or glass door or something with a lot of sunlight coming into it. So when I need to trace an illustration or a rough onto my good quality watercolour paper, I can tape it to a window door, whatever I need to tape it to, and trace using direct sunlight, which is like optimal brightness in my opinion. <laughs> It does mean your arms get a little bit tired though and you can be a little bit cranky because you're sitting in the sun. When I moved here, there was only one window that was available to me to do that and it was the one right here that I have shut completely off because it's summer and it sucks and it's so hot here in Florida and I would have to move my whole desk out of the way every time I wanted to use it and trip over things and unplug stuff and it was just a whole thing. Instead, I spent $20 on this LED light pad and I'm going to talk to you about it today because it is interesting. <laughs> I'm going to talk about um, the purposes I had intended to use this for. Um, mainly tracing roughs. So I do a lot of illustrations that are based in watercolour or fine liner and I often want a very precise line. So I will either do my roughs on my Surface Pro using Leonardo, which I have talked about in a previous video. I'll try to do the card thing up here, whether or not I'm that coordinated with my post edit upload stuff is another thing entirely, but it's quite a recent video, so you should be able to find it if you so wish. <laughs> but I also sometimes do my roughs in pencil and then I, you know, fine line it with a really chunky liner and then I try to trace it on the window. This stops me from having to move all my shit and stand in the blinding hot Florida sun. So, uh, I bought this on Amazon for $19.99 <laughs> and it got here in two days because I do have a Prime membership at the moment. And it came with uh, some really handy accessories. Came with these. It's not annoying at all came with these, um, which is great for holding down my paper because even though they are cheap, um, they do the job. They do exactly what you need them to do, so happy with that. It also came with a cord because it has to be plugged in to a USB port of some kind. I generally plug it into my computer because I'm most of the time working in front of my computer. Uh, I will have Netflix on or I will have music or a podcast or something playing from my computer so this is this is the connection i am a bit wary of this connection because it is so thin i know you can find these as a replacement all the time at like goodwill and the bargain barn and places like that so i'm not too worried about it if it does break yes yeah, so it comes with a cord uh i don't actually know how long it is i looked on the amazon information part of the <laughs> uh, ordering system and it didn't say. So I'm going to say that this is over a meter. I can't like, I literally can't really show you how long it is, but I would say it's over a meter um, or a yard as people would say here. So it is, it's a long cord um, and I'm really apprehensive to damage it because I like how long it is. I can plug it into like a wall adapter of some sort if I needed to. And the last thing that it came with is this really cheap iPad stand. Um, I don't care for it that much, but it is good when you're working at a desk. It does uh, <laughs> it does fall apart quite easily, but the A4 pad is extremely lightweight, so I'm not I'm not super bothered about the quality of the stand too much because the um, 
the pad itself is extremely god damn i broke it again so i don't know if i can explain but these bad boys here they just pop out every time i try to like adjust the um the width of this silly thing so there you go see it's it's flawless flawless in its design and functionality all the basics to make this kind of the most comfortable tracing experience of your life is really handy <sighs> it does have three settings uh which is like low light medium light really bright and i always use the really bright setting um i will say because it is led it's not like intensely bright i don't know what the lux uh levels of it are specifically <laughs> If I look it up, I might be able to find something, but I highly doubt it, seeing as they couldn't tell me how long the USB port cord is. <laughs> yeah, it just says 35% brightness, 70% brightness, and then 100% brightness. Doesn't mean anything if I don't know what 100% brightness actually stands for. I, I really like the pad itself. It is extremely lightweight. It's very thin. The only real complaints I have about it are, if you can see here, so it's kind of like a big piece of perspex, and the only problem that I have with that is that when I turn it on, light like emits out from these edges. And it's fine if you're working at a desk, but the other day I was working on the couch, and if someone was trying to sit on the couch and enjoy a movie next to me and I'm tracing something on this light pad, they're gonna get blinded because it's like <laughs> into their face. So. That wasn't ideal, but again, this is something I would probably be using more so at a desk the majority of the time, so yeah, you win some, you lose some. Considering this was $20, I'm not going to be too critical of it. <laughs> um, I didn't want to invest in a proper light box or something um, because I wanted to make sure that this was something that I would use on a regular basis before I really made an investment into a good quality alternative. So this seemed like the perfect startup for me uh, with light pads and tracing and all that stuff. I'd also never heard of diamond painting before I did this, so all the reviews with regards to diamond painting kind of threw me off. I was like, I don't, I don't know what that is, I don't know why people would use it for whatever that is, I don't understand it. When I found out what it was, um, it's kind of like a, a drawing meets cross stitching kind of deal. Um, that actually made me think that it would be really good for what I do, uh, and to an extent it is. There are a couple of things that I don't care for with it. First of all, you cannot use this in daylight, or you cannot use it in direct sunlight, which sounds like common sense, because why would you trace something in direct sunlight when you're trying to emit light to come through? Does it? Does that make sense? Basically, I have to make sure that the curtains are completely shut and that it's quite dark in here when I use this because if there's any light like hitting against it, it's not gonna make sense for it to like try and shine through your artwork onto another piece of paper. So that was the first thing. The second thing about this is, as I mentioned before, it's LED, so it's not exactly like the craziest, brightest thing you've ever seen. Which is kind of great because you don't want to strain your eyes, but it also kind of sucks because I use quite thick paper. I use a lot of mixed media paper and a lot of watercolour paper, so it can be a little bit harder to see. Um, it helps if the room is much darker. I try to do this early in the morning or really like towards the end of the day because the light is working against me. In fact, any time basically after midday is fine in here because the sun hits this window first thing. The only other criticism I have about this light pad is the button. <laughs> the button is a touchpad, um, which is fine, I can handle that, but basically this whole surface area around it is also sensitive, so you could press here and it would turn off, which isn't ideal. Um, the reason I found that out is because I was using it on the couch, I was feeling very lazy over the weekend. and. I kept bumping it and it kept turning off or changing the light like level and it was really really frustrating. Final final critique is this does get very hot because the connection point is right near the button. If you're working with it upright, shouldn't affect you too much, but if you do have it on your lap, man do you feel it quite quickly and it's very annoying. So I don't recommend working on it like as a lap option because that was me smacking it on my legs. Um, because it will get hot. Some good things about it, it is A4, so it will fit all A4 paper or anything roughly to that size. US letter paper might be a bit wider than it, um, but it will fit this this way. <laughs> it does have the rulers up 
on the like top and side axis which is great it's really really handy if you're trying to measure stuff out I generally use my cutting boards for measuring if I'm going to do anything like that but it's good to know that that's an option for you too that's my review of this light pad I don't think I even mentioned the brand um the brand is the brand is called Sana Direct or Sana Direct I don't know how you would prefer to pronounce that I will let you know how this goes as I use it more often. I've only had it for about a week, so my experience with it is a little bit limited at the moment. However, so far it has been a good experience. If you're looking for a first time use light pad, if you're like me and you're not sure you can commit to something as expensive and fancy as a light box, this might be a good alternative. Um, the easiest way to find something like this is to look up a diamond painting LED pad or a light pad like I did and something like this will come up. Um, I would love to know if you have a tried and true brand that you use like this because this one for me um, was different. I've, I've only ever, if I've used anything other than a window, <laughs> I've always used a light box. So this was a little underwhelming compared to a light box for me but I'm kind of glad because I wouldn't want something that's so ferociously intense that I burn out like my eyeballs. So, yeah, that's what we reviewed today. Hey, I don't think I've reviewed anything like properly in quite a long time. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was informative or at least a little bit interesting for you. I would love to know what you guys are up to and what your plans are for the weekend. Mine mostly involves sleeping and working, so yeah. If you would like to support anything that I do, I am on Patreon. I share updates with my patrons, like in the form of podcasts every second week. I also uh, share all my videos early with my patrons, and sometimes they get to see my webtoons comics really early too. Things like that, Instagram content, all the things. They get all the things first. So if you would like to be like on that level, <laughs> Patreon is linked below, and some of my other like social media stuffs. That's all I'm plugging today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you next week. Bye! Let's review this thing. I hope you're doing well. Uh, la, 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 la. I hope you're doing well. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't English. I am a bit weary of. What? Weary? Um, I am a bit weary. <laughs> it's well and truly over a meter. Like maybe a meter and a half. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm tall. Things don't really measure well with me. Like, what I would consider not that big. My husband would consider huge because he's 5'5". Five five. Oh, I've been out of focus this, this whole fucking time. Okay. Um, great. <laughs> great! I forgot which way the sun rises. I can't believe I have to Google. Which direction does the sun... thingy. Okay, Google. Which direction does the sun rise and set? Yeah, I knew that. Okay, so we have a west facing house is what I'm trying to say. Um, it does have the rulers, oh god fuck me. The brand is called Sa Sano Direct or Sano Direct.